So hello and welcome to another video and today we're looking at a bit of a work in progress mod as you can see well you actually might not be able to tell but this is a pretty big giveaway that says options here not the pro mode they're uh, on PC and yeah checking out the 2018 mod so let's have a look at the official rider so obviously you've got just people at markets and stuff that I haven't changed here you can see uh, Takaki Nakagami, obviously now he's confirmed for LCR. He's added into the game. Or well, not to the game, but into the MotoGP category. And there you go. And Scott Redden onto the Aprilia. Just load him up in the showroom as well. Have a quick look. And then this is Jack Miller. Obviously, he's now on the uh, Pramac. The number's a little bit strange. I do need to probably uh, fix that. But uh, at the minute, there's uh, this, you know it works, so no point. Um, then obviously Frankie Morb uh, Franco Morbidelli is now. Uh, in MotoGP for 2018 as well, so this, uh, yeah, he's on the Mark VDS. Now, um, let's go. Obviously, I'm just gonna do a quick race in a second. There's one of these guys. I think I'll do it as Nakagami. But um, yeah, before people start asking uh, for download links and stuff, this mod isn't released yet. This is uh, the earliest build, pretty much that I've got to a decent standard so I just thought I'd make a quick video on it so uh, let's go Silverstone since they are going Silverstone next in uh, real life GP obviously it's like only halfway through seven, uh, 2017 season and I'm pretty sure well actually to be fair there is a couple of riders unconfirmed and stuff still but at the moment this is pretty much how the 2018 season is going to stack up and I'm basically not going to release this for the reason that the 2018 season is really far away, so no point in releasing a mod like really early when people aren't looking for one, you know. So I don't know when I'll release it, but I might release on the first day of Valencia preseason testing. I'm gonna try and have um, the Moto Moto 3 actually finished for release this year. Obviously, last year I didn't have them finished till. Or well, or about two weeks later, two weeks after the uh, initial mod went up. So most of you probably wouldn't even have known that. Uh, just the early adopters would have done. So I've got a penalty instantly. So that's just great start. Barbara, uh, making loads of mistakes here. Not, not been a good race for me so far. Flying down to this corner. Oh, you got to watch out. I've broke on the curb. I have got away with that uh, quite luckily. I've not even, like, bumped up a little bit. If I contact the KTM Bradley Smith. I mean, I was, uh, I mean, Carol Abraham, uh, it's completely off topic, but Carol Abraham's done a pretty good job this season, but I was kind of half expecting I'd have to make a new Aspar leather or something at some point, but no, he's been confirmed today to stay at Aspar for next season, so. That'll be no work to that team till the uh, livery comes out. Oh, Rins has clipped me a little bit, but he's got that away with that very luckily. And he's just rammed me up the rear. So now I'm just trying to close up to the back of Scott Redden on his Aprilia. Scott Redden and Jack Miller near each other. This mod completely removes Sam Lowe's from, well, not from the game. He's still in the game, but... You can't play as him or see him on track in any of the categories. So effectively, like he's out of the game, but he's still in the he's still in the files. So if you want to, if I could not play him with this mod or whatever at a later date, and you want to bring him back, then you can. But what's the point? <laughs> if it's not actually how the 2018 season's going to be, 
If he gets another ride in a different team, obviously I'll bring him straight back in. I don't know, I've just heard a notification. don't know if uh, anyone else heard that at uh, Windows 10 notification, so I'm sorry if that came up in the uh, video or if you heard it through my headphones, but I don't know what it is yet. We're doing pretty poor, if just rather than in 17th position, so I have to get my finger out a little bit here. I haven't really paid much GP for a little bit though. The, just past two riders like that though. Morbidelli is a. Uh, he's up in 14th, so you'd think that'd be quite a good position for him to be in, but obviously because it's Morbidelli, the way I've done the mod is it's still his Moto 2 stats, so I'm gonna, gonna have to change those maybe at some point, because he qualifies like super well, and then in the race he doesn't do so well, I've just been hit by Jack Miller. Like, if he was on a, if the, he had the handling of the Marquez bike, he'd probably win most of the races. Um, so in front of me now is Folger. Gonna go for Folger up the inside. That was close. I could have crashed then very easily. Because uh, obviously he tapped me and as you probably know if you got the inside of an AI and they tap you while you turned in you're pretty much going to crash. I'm going to try and get three riders here at once. Oh, Leish is on my inside. Rossi! Rossi's crashed. Uh, just saw that. I think someone else is off as well because I'm sure that's not just him. Because his dot wouldn't have stayed off the trap for that long. Try and got the inside of the pair of those two. Over to 10th position now. Is that Lorenzo in front of me? Lorenzo battling with Zarco up ahead? I think it is. Zarco just lost that. Oh, Lorenzo's down. I I just happened to look away for a second and then I just look back and Lorenzo is now down. Uh, I just kind of looked at the inside wall to make sure I didn't hit it and then I uh, looked back at this in front of me and <laughs> just see Lorenzo just falling off so that was a uh, unexpected sight so over to P9 not too bad so Lorenzo is now down in 24 so obviously, obviously there's an extra actually no there should be still the same amount of people yeah because uh, we've gained yeah we've uh no, no, there's an extra extra rider because obviously Nakagami's in. I was thinking that I'd lost Sam Lowe's, but he he got replaced, didn't he? Like, this is just... All the other ones are replacements. This is the only add-on kind of thing. The only extra LCR. Like, it'd be interesting to see what Takaki can do in this uh, next year. In 2018, see what he can do. It would uh, be very interesting. But uh, yeah, this will be definitely not be the last uh, video update on this mod. It's like uh, if you want to see more every time I've like updated a like a rider or like just a single rider, then I'll be happy to do that. Maybe just in time trial rather than just doing a race every time. But uh, I've passed Zark on the exit there. He's going to get me back on the inside because I've understood. I kind of got more into the swing of it as the race went on. It was a little bit of a too little, too late scenario. Just going to get the inside of Zarco into this penultimate turn. Well, actually, I suppose this isn't actually the penultimate turn. It's the, uh, this is the penultimate turn here. So there's obviously that flick on the straight. Can I try and get Petrucci? I mean, he's on a Ducati, so probably not. Nah. Sometimes the AI are a little bit lacking off that corner. Just track it, stand a little bit on the exit. There we go, over the line, you don't get a penalty. And there you go. So not the best uh, piece of riding we've ever seen. Uh, up to eighth from last, so not not too bad, not too bad, if, uh, if I do say so. Uh, yeah, so that is uh, pretty much it for this video. Just a quick uh, little update for um, for the mod. I mean, I, gu I guess we can go and uh, look in replay cam at them. I think I turned replay music off, that's good, because um, apparently it's actual music, because I actually got copyright for one of them in my uh, motorsp motorsport manager, yeah. my managerial career. Alright, so this is um, Scott Redding, it's obviously on the front of his bike, that's the 45, 
and same on the side, it just replaces the Sam Lewis 22 pretty much. Well, it actually still is Scott Redding to be fair. I've done the mod slot. For those that decompiled my mod last year, naughty naughty, nah, I'm not really bothered. Um, you'll notice that I've done it completely differently this year, and it's much cleaner in the files. I prefer it. Should be easier for people to mod the riders as well, to their liking, like for performance and stuff. While I'm on the subject, why milestone if you made the 53 like that? I'm probably going to fix that for my mod and just release anyway. Let's have to do another Mark VDS fix like I did last year. Um, yes, that's pretty much it. Just let's have a look at his leathers actually. Like his glove, that's just the same. His leathers, there. Last year I just stuck the badges over the other badges and stuff like that. But this year I've gone properly in length and made sure that all the badges and stuff are in the right places for the right leather and the right knee slider and stuff like that so that just again pretty much just a better show you know I've ha I had an experience now and I thought I was Petrucci to begin with because I uh, obviously he doesn't use Dionysi but uh, or Dionysi whatever it's called but he uses that logo that looks a bit similar so you see the 43 on the front of Jack Miller AGV helmet so it still says Red Bull and stuff but you know, that doesn't really bother me that much, and at the minute I was, don't know what's going to run next year. d and Easy Leathers on the back. And again, all the logos in the right place and stuff like that. So it's looking pretty good, and obviously his boots as well. Uh, no boot glitch this year, because obviously I figured it out. Um, if you don't know what that is, then it doesn't even matter, but... It's like there was a massive like grey bit where there should have been a uh, texture for leather, but it was a boot, and I've gone past myself, haven't I? Oh, I need to go Morbid Deli, don't I? Yeah, that's what I mean. Morbid Deli has started in the lofty heights of fifth place, and that is just because he uses his skill, but his motorbike slows him down a little bit. And qualifying is just worse in the race. As you can see, this is actually quite different. His imprints are uh, just a little bit annoying. I might have to edit those. Uh, just looking around this bike, looks pretty cool. See the uh, 21 on it, and just the leathers are actually just modded from Jack Miller's. Because um, obviously in Mochi they didn't have the red at the top, so I couldn't just use Franco's. And they'd have Dunlop logos and stuff like that instead of Michelin. And obviously there was me as Takaki Nakagami. You probably got a good look, but has number 30. It's a little bit too big. I. Um, I basically just took the one from the Calyx, pretty much, and stuck it on there. Like, just took the numbers. I, th I think I shrunk them slightly, but they could be a little bit smaller. And luckily, he used Alpine Stars, so I could just uh, mod Calcrux Lows and just put Tacker on the back. Uh, if it looks pretty good, I, I, I actually think he really suits these leathers, uh, his helmet and his gloves and his boots. Look really nice. But yeah, as I said, that's pretty much it for this video, and yeah, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and obviously uh, vanilla Xbox gameplay and stuff like that as well, Not it's not just all mods on this channel, and yeah, I'll uh, see you in the next video. A little bit extra just to add, uh, add to the end of this video. I've never seen an AI do this before. I was looking at how Rossi crashed. He just took the front. I've never ever seen an AI just took the front before. They always get hit off by another AI or the path is broken and they just crash. Because like uh the way they sit, like the like because they go off the circuit. Let's have a look at a different camera angle. Uh that might be a bit weird. Let's have a look what it looks like from here. I've obviously it just always changes, doesn't it? Which is a bit crap. Uh, I was trying to change the. I'm still trying to use the Moto GP15 controls and stuff. You kind of just see the front just start to go. What about from the front tyre cam? You kind of just. Can you see it from the replay? Like the. Maybe I could uh, watch it from Dovi's front. Let's 
That's got to be the best AI crash I've ever seen. Well, the cat, he sounds brilliant as well. Do you see it from the back of Maverick? I don't think you see it too well. You kind of see it wash out from under him, but he's not really close enough. I'm now interested to see what happened to Lorenzo. I spit at the end, it's getting quite long actually. Wow, well, he kind of respawned in a bit of a crap place. I know Redding ended up last, but I want to see why that is later, but. That was me diving. I entered as past as Zarko. And again, he does the same thing! I thought him and Zarko had had a collision for sure. AI losing the front. I've never seen this before. This is incredible. This is basically just taking over the video. Not even a mod video anymore. It's just a AI apparently can lose the front now video. Uh, never ever seen this in any game. So this obviously got to be new to GP like 17, surely. This is remarkable. I mean, this bit's a bit glitchy, to be fair. I mean, look, he just kind of just goes absolutely flying. Like, he accelerates after he crashes. I mean, you're on, he's off throttle when, when he crashed, and then he puts the throttle back on, loses the front. But, like, then he accelerates. Carries on accelerating after he crashed. Look, goes faster. It's a bit stupid, but... Um, let's see. Oh. Who was that in front? Oh, that's Petrucci and Crucial. I was going to say, I wasn't that high up. Let's see if you catch this from on board Darker. Well, he definitely will, because he's right on his ass. I see this kind of washes out on him. That is odd. Right, let's have a quick look at Scott Redding and what happened to him, because he wasn't last. Let's see, does Valet get a move done here? Let's have a look. Oh, what a move from Valet. Scott Redding's not even last now, but he ended up in last. I don't know how he managed it. I thought I was him then for a minute. Oh, he's actually in front of Miller, though, again now. Um, let's have a look. I, didn't, I never saw it come up that he crashed, so unless he just ran off the circuit or he crashed, it didn't come up. Or like those results were glitched at the end, but if there's another AI losing the front, then this is weird. I'm going to have to look out for this in other races, and I've never seen him in a managerial career or anything like that either. It's like... Wait, how did he come last then? By 18 seconds? Wow, this, uh... This video is full of glitches, isn't it, really? Well, not even glitches. I mean, them losing the front isn't a glitch, but... Full of weird occurrences. And that's probably about 5-10 minutes longer than I thought it was going to be. One more lap. Well, this is the end of lap 3. Redding goes up the inside of Miller. Aprilia takes Ducati and through the penultimate turn run up to the final turn it's clearly not last it's clearly not last it's clearly not last over the line the fa fades out which means the end of the race and then he finishes last look what was that? and his best lap is actually really slow but so look what was mine? mine was a Pretty much seven tenths off Vinyala's. Not as bad as some of the other riders. What was Rossi's? Rossi's was a 59 0, so there's only like like a tenth off, so yeah, Yamaha's clearly best by. But yeah, 
again, that's it for this video, so yeah, I'll see you in the next one. It's uh, very odd.